Charlevoix, Michigan. I'm at the Beaver Island Boat Company parking lot. We're going to be taking the ferry over to the island. It's about a two hour boat trip. We'll see you when we're at the boat docks. We're on the ferry on the two hour journey over to the Beaver Island. The drawbridge store. A nice aroma of diesel fuel in the air. That's downtown Charlevoix. Hopefully we'll be able to get some good video of that when we return from the island in a couple days. It's supposed to be raining the entire time when we return. <laughs> Weather vane restaurant hotel. The bridge closing behind us. We're leaving Charlevoix Harbor. Out of fishermen, they catch some morning fish. The name of the ferry we're on is the Emerald Isle. There's the lighthouse and the Emerald Water.
So we're riding in the back of the ferry, facing backwards, looking towards Charlevoix over beautiful Lake Michigan. And Lisa pointed out that the uh, ferry ride is half the amount of time it took us to get here. We left at 2.45 in the morning, drove through the rain, and then got here, and it's a two-hour boat ride. Well, we uh, moved to inside on the upper deck of the ferry. It was pretty windy back there. Getting a little chill. Take a look around the ferry, see what it looks like. We're outside. You can sit at the front of the ship if you want. And if you thought it was windy when we were in the back, it's very windy here. Again, you're looking at beautiful Lake Michigan. Not as windy on the uh, lower deck. Very moves pretty quickly. All right, so there's not a whole lot to see on the boat itself, it's just basic ferry, it does carry cars, and there's also a big uh, Susco semi-truck that's obviously bringing supplies to the island. And apparently there's about 25 bites of coke as well. So, here's a funny story for you, at least again, I think it's funny. So, I've already stated before when we came somewhere where we had to go over the famous Zilwaukee Bridge in Saginaw, Michigan, that I hate that bridge. It's probably the second biggest bridge that I hate, the first being the Mackinac Bridge. I don't like the cross boat. So, it was a four hour drive, and as we were coming up, we got close to the bridge and I saw the signs and I even remarked, oh boy, we're getting close. Now, we drove in the pouring rain, and it was dark, but we left the house at 2.45 a.m. For the record, I was early because we originally were going to depart at 3 a.m. So I want the record to show I made it early. So as we got closer, well, apparently was was the bridge. They had these lights shining down, and because of the mist of the water, uh, of the rain, it made it look like ghosts were there. It was kind of interesting. We drove, and a little while later, I said to Lisa, when are we going to cross this bridge? And she laughed and said, we already crossed it. That's where the ghosts were. So I have learned that if I really want to be safe, I'm going to cross the bridge when it's dark and I can't figure out that I'm on a bridge. I thought that was an interesting story. Hope you did too. The island off in the distance.
this is our arrival to Beer Island. Very now will back into its spot. It's controlled now from the back of the ship. more emerald green water. I will say he backs this boat up more proficiently than I back up my car. Here is the Cisco semi truck. One of the bicycles, another bicycle, and it looks like those vehicles are numbered up for their journey back.
On the side is the Beaver Islander, which is also tied up here. So far, my first impression of Beaver Island is a really nice place to visit. Obviously, haven't been on the island yet, but it looks beautiful. On the island, this is the Paradise. Well, it's called Paradise Baked Gifts. Lisa tells me this used to be a private residence and that uh, it was a friend of her mother's, I believe, that stayed here or owned this. It's a beautiful building. And I just want to show you the uh, chimney with that clock in it. It's very cool. Interesting historical sign to read of what happened in 1856. A peaceful little island, but hey, you never know when crime is going to be afoot and a murder takes place. Just a quick early look of the downtown area here, what there is of the downtown area. It's very small, very quaint. But it's a very peaceful place. Here's a quick look at the Beaver Island Jail. Very small little cage. It says it was uh, built in 1910 and it burned in 1931. But it doesn't look like it burned to me. Unless they rebuilt it. But imagine that jail. No privacy. If you're in jail, the whole town will know. Here's some island humor for you. There's a bumper sticker on a car that says, Dogs have a master. Cats have a staff. How true that is. There's a beautiful old church, Catholic church, I believe, on the island. I believe it's a Catholic church because it says, Holy Cross Catholic Church. It's got a historical plate out. And you can uh, read the Michigan Historical Site sign there. It's a nice church. If you're on the island and you want to go to church here, simple mass schedule, Sunday at 12.15, so you don't have to be an early riser. And Beaver Island itself has about 600 year-round residents. And this is the Beaver Island Community School, which is K through 12. Classic, beautiful old buildings. It's a view of the boat dock that we came in. The boat stays for about half an hour, then it leaves with uh, those cars that we saw earlier that we're waiting to get on board. And directly across the way out there, on that point, is Central Michigan University. They have a research facility out here, right by the lighthouse. I'm sure we'll be able to get a uh, Better view of that a little later in our trip. We're here for a couple days. Someone has painted a rock and left it there. It's very nice. Upon arrival, we had our lunch here at Harbor Bodega at an Italian sub sandwich. Lisa ate 
ate the Michigan cherry salad. Both were very, very good. We have a historical walking tour of downtown Beaver Island. This is stop number one. Got an interesting map in French because they don't know how to spell lake. And uh, we're going to take a bike trip later in the trip. Hopefully we'll see all these placards. Meanwhile, in the cement, just so you can get your bearings, is a compass. And that's north. And what would a small town be without a town clock? Beaver Island welcomes you. Very nice clock given to Beaver Island on this date, July 3rd, 2004, in memory of my late wife, Joanne Spaulding Malloy. And it's signed, Larry Malloy. Very nice. Another look. And it is right by the tour company that we're going to be taking an island tour with very shortly. Probably in that van because they said it was a van trip. On the clock was another painted rock. And while I was standing here, just a few steps away, is another painted rock. Now my wife just said to me, she read something that you're supposed to pick up the rocks and move them to a different location, but I don't like to do that. I'm gonna leave it right where it is, let somebody else discover it. As of the recording of this video, August 15th, 2023, the fire danger on Beaver Island, according to the fire department, is very high. They haven't had much rain. Everything's very dry. It's shortly uh, after the devastating fires in Hawaii. So you gotta be very careful. And over here is a very interesting work of art. So we're gonna go take a look at it. Unfortunately, it looks like it used to be a nice garden around it is a weed garden. And closer inspection. Let's just pause for one brief moment. There's another painted rock. It's made up of hands. Let's move in closer here so you can see. Oh, and there's messages in each one of the hands. Freedom and my love to love. And it moves a little bit. Hey, I think I saw a moose. I did see another painted rock. So it's a very, uh, very cool piece of art. It's on a spindle. I don't know if it actually used to move. Or if that's just part of the display but it does have a winch and there's an opening and inside the opening through the spider webs is a hanging chain I don't know if that's something that used to be inside it but it's very cool this person bringing love and smiles to others this person just says love That one says Alex. He couldn't think of anything clever to say. Somebody thought of saying hope, but he just thought of saying Alex. And Beaver Island has its own U.S. Post Office. All right, 
on the side of this house above this garage, I want you to notice these shutters with the boat anchors cut out in a shutter. All right, and the railing going to the side door, as you see of this house, is an oar. And uh, let's walk around this house. It's very clever, very cute. Don't mind the sign we're going to walk by. But there's the front of the house. The balcony is the front of a ship. It's got a sailor there guiding the ship and the stern's wheel. Queen Mary Ellen out front. And the uh, front porch looks like the shape of a boat. And of course it has this little artsy boat out front. With another sailor keeping an eye out. It's a very nice house. And out front of the boathouse, a very faded painted rock. This is the Beaver Island jet ski and boat rental with a very interesting sign out front. About the Irish eviction and immigration. In the official 1744 Beaver Island sign. Okay, so we made it to our room. It's a very nice room. Got a chair, a bed, got a nice fish, a nice sailboat. They already delivered our luggage to us. Nice bathroom area. Closet. That. We have our table, another chair, couch, another chair. We have our own sink and cupboard and microwave. We have a TV. And we have our own fridge. And look at that. Nice accommodations. And we're relaxing on our deck at the moment. As you can see, we have a great view of the bay. It's very nice accommodations. And uh, we're making some dinner plans. Uh, once we arrived on the island, we just walked around for a little bit and went to the, what they refer to as the downtown area, which is the very small area that I showed you already a little bit of. And then we took a tour of the island, and uh, Lisa really enjoyed the tour. I saw most of it, uh, but I was nodding off, and uh, it was not a very uh, good sleep because somebody kept waking me up, uh, which uh, she should have smacked me across the head and would have kept me awake, but nonetheless, she did it very gently. But so far, it's a very interesting place. We're, uh, like I said, we're gonna go to dinner, and uh, we're gonna, rent some bikes and see some more of the uh, island and we'll keep you informed all right here we are on beaver island leaving our hotel our beautiful hotel and we're riding bikes so i may not come back alive that's my Beautiful wife waiting for me at Chipmunk Trail. Nice house in the woods. It's been a few years since I've ridden a bike. This is your basic old bike. No gears, no fears, no helmet. So if I don't make it out alive, you'll know why.
And we're coming up to a stop sign. It says bike Xing. I think that means it's a symbol for death. That's where we're staying, the Beaver Island Lodge. <sighs> we're going this way on the trail. It's downhill so I can rest. Very nice uh, western looking building. I'm going fast. I'm going to die. That's the summer place called S-O-M-M-E-R. Either it's a person's name or it's an island spelling. That's the library. We told, we're told on the tour that it was donated, the land and the building, by someone who had moved here, stayed for two years and didn't want to stay, but they donated the money for that. It was kind of neat. That was early in the tour. I was still awake then. Now we're coming to Michigan Avenue. One more. This is uh, Kings Highway. And then Michigan Avenue, which is Main Street. Or they said, as the locals call it, downtown. That's uh, Daddy Frank's, supposed to have great hamburgers, ice cream, great french fries. Another Death Hill coming up. And this is Maine. It's also Michigan. Oh, I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> that was Lisa behind us. This is the busy Maine thoroughfare here. Uh, we're going to Shamrocks for dinner. Fortunately, is right here. Well, people on the sidewalk don't know how close to death they are. Shamrocks. All right. At the uh, Shamrock here, let's take a quick look at the menu. Uh, you got your baskets, shrimp, white fish, chicken wing, chicken tenders, lots of great burgers, which uh, we, uh, of course, have settled on the olive burger, provolone cheese, green olives, and some mayo. They do have pizza, sandwiches. And on the other side, they got your soups and salads. They got some great entrees with your white fish. Beef medallions, pork porterhouse chop, or ribeye. Some great stuff. But we're going with that olive burger. Alright, so we went with the uh, olive burger and the tater tots. And Lisa, always eating healthy, went for the white fish. And that fish is big enough to feed an army. Put a little ketchup on here. Oh, never have good luck with ketchup. There it goes. Uh, we're going to give a uh, tater tot a try. Mmm. Very good. This is a interesting. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to say no lettuce. We're going to remove the lettuce. I'm sneaking a pickle. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Do some creative editing later. Hang on. I have no idea how we're going to eat this. But we're going to give it a shot. Thank you. Are you here for the whole summer? Well, something like that. 
came here in May. This is very good. <laughs> but the messiest burger I've ever eaten. All right, so we survived dinner. It was a fantastic burger. And it said Lisa's fish was enough to uh, about four meals for her. The food was good. So now we're going to take a little bike ride. There's the uh, town clock again. And the tour. The docks. Beaver Island Municipal Marina. I'd read the sign, but I'm going way too fast. There's the uh, artwork again with all the hands. Still very high for the fire alert. The cool uh, house again. It looks like a boat. The post office. Okay, so the GoPro is attached to my hat. So hopefully it doesn't make you dizzy. All right, so this house we're passing right now, uh, you notice the uh, porthole windows. So our tour guide told us an interesting story that that was part of a boat and as soon as the boat was launched it sank shortly thereafter oh nice propeller and the boat was uh, made by a person who he said had to find a different profession and the uh, person who designed that boat was Henry Ford and so we all know what he uh, changed up started making automobiles in case you didn't know and what they did they said was remove the uh, cabin from the boat after they raised the boat up out of the water and turn it into a cabin there's another very unique house the very unique propeller up front So we're making our way back. We're gonna stop, look at a church that we saw on the tour. And then we're gonna head back to our hotel to see if we can see the sunset. And that was the church we looked at earlier, but Lisa wanted to come and see it again. And we caught the chimes. We caught the end of the chimes, but very nice tone. It's a very nice church. Church is open. Got a balcony. view of the church from the balcony.
Okay. okay. Where the coir is. So the island so the island did have a narrow gauge railroad which they uh, used to haul lumber so let's take a look at the narrow gauge railroad the track some old wheels and a painted rock Rusty rails, because they haven't been used in, well, hundreds of years. Who knows how long. But there's the end. So, on the tour, we learned that they tried to purchase the locomotive that they used, which is now in a museum in Cleveland. But the deal fell through. They put this track in here so they could put that locomotive on it. But it didn't work out for them. And by the railroad tracks that are there, nice little fairy garden. And by the old barrel here, more fairy garden. And we are heading back to the hotel, to the lodge. And we're going to go on the balcony. And we are going to watch the sunset. The boat has seen its better days. This is part of the Donegan Bay Trail. We're not going any farther because our lodge is off to the right. McDonough Street. Don't know where that goes, but the only grocery store in town is the McDonough grocery store. Probably take that in tomorrow when we take another bike trip or a walking trip. Nice woods here. No black bear, they said, but a lot of deer, raccoon, some other varmints. No skunks, though. There's Chipmunk Trail again. And what you're seeing ahead of you, Lake Michigan. And off in the woods here is our hotel, our lodge. Welcome to the Beaver Island Lodge. I made it without killing myself. I almost spoke too soon. We made it back to the balcony. It's a beautiful view. And nothing like that beautiful sound of those waves crashing on the shore.
I appreciate you coming along on this episode of Guest Adventures, where everyone's a guest, including me. I'd ask that you subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. It would help me out. Thanks again for coming. We'll see you on the next video.